So guys, I've talked about this product before. Um, it's just a very underrated product. I love the Meguiar's D301 Finishing Wax. Hello everybody and welcome to Miranda Detailing where we make satisfying detailing videos. So in today's video we are going to be detailing this Black Marauder. Now we've done this one before and we actually did a single stage or an all-in-one polish but the customer wants us back. We're going to do a full detail on it this time and uh, not going to show much of the interior but the exterior we are going to show you. So uh, the paint on it just has a little bit of water spots and things like that. Not too bad um, and it it really does look glossy and nice, but it's definitely dirty. It needs to be cleaned up. So that's what we're going to do. We clean it, we clay bar it, and then we're going to machine apply Meguiar's D301 Finishing Wax. So guys, I've talked about this product before. Um, it's just a very underrated product. I love the Meguiar's D301 Finishing Wax. So easy to use. For mobile detailers, this is an awesome product. It is cheap, very easy to use, outdoors in the sunlight even on a black car I've used it in the middle of summer this is going to be my uh, 2019 summer wax basically I bought a whole gallon of it and I'm gonna be refilling my little 16 ounce bottle here the stuff is so nice to use it lightly polishes the paint um, it also will remove very fine marring so usually when I clay bar any vehicle I like to machine apply waxes so if you have any you know questions about why I machine apply wax check out the video up here that I did recently about you know why we uh, machine apply our wax so like I said before this stuff is so easy to use creates an awesome gloss now as far as durability durability is very subjective it all depends on weather it depends on how often the person drives the vehicle how often they wash it, what they wash it with, if they bring it to car washes, all of those things. Typically, I have seen this product on my own vehicle last two months, maybe a little bit more. Now, granted, I'm driving my own personal vehicle. I'm not washing it as meticulously as I would a customer's vehicle. I know. I just don't have time. <laughs> I usually will reserve that for my weekend washes. You can actually check out that video up here um, that I put out maybe every few weeks. And those videos, I just kind of talk about detail related stuff. And uh, I will use this on my own vehicle every once in a while. Um, but I have seen it go two months, maybe a little over that. So the durability on it is, you know, not going to be the greatest. Um, it's it's not really designed for, you know, extra durability. If you want to top this with something, you know, spray waxes, or if you're going to maintain your own vehicle and use, you know, the Meguiar's Express Spray Wax or whatever you want to use for that, you know, then you might boost it a little bit. But where this product shines is the ease of use and the polishing uh, aspects of it as well. So. I love this stuff. This is what we're going to use on the vehicle today. So enjoy the video guys. We'll see you at the end.
like so, the Marauder is done. So it looks beautiful. You can see the gloss on this thing is insane. Uh, that's really where this product uh, definitely shines. It gives amazing gloss. I've actually had quite a few customers, one in particular, uh, that was so happy about his vehicle. And it was a silver vehicle. So it was a silver metallic. He called me the next day and was asking me what I use on his paint because he had other uh, people noticing how glossy and how shiny his vehicle was. And he was getting compliments from it. So he called me and complimented me on uh, not just the detailing aspect, but what I used. So he loves this stuff. So I got to say that uh, as far as this product goes, try it out for yourself, especially mobile detailers. This is not a high-end wax. This is designed for speed. It's designed for efficiency. It lightly polishes. It protects. But this is something where if you're doing full details or even uh, exterior details every few months on your customer's cars, you will notice how great this stuff really is. Um, and the and it's so affordable. I'll have links down below to purchase the full gallon if you want or the 16 ounce. Basically what I do is I buy this first and then I buy the gallon later on and I just fill up the bottle because of course using the bottle is just easier uh, because you can, you know, it has the nice uh, self-cleaning tips. They're not really self-cleaning, but they're just nice tips for the top of the bottle here. And uh, I just think overall it's a great wax. It's, it's one of my new favorites. I've used it in years before, uh, in years past, but I've kind of started using it again and I prefer it. Now, when it comes to the all-in-ones or single stage uh, polishes, I still use HD Speed. This is my, my go-to um, because again, for mobile detailers and even here at my garage, it's just an awesome product. It, it delivers every single time. So this stuff can kind of do what HD Speed does. Not, not exactly. It doesn't quite have the cut, um, but it is designed to use with the microfiber polishing pads. So these are the Meguiar's polishing pads. Um, I'll have links to these down below as well. I don't use these as often. I probably should though, because these do deliver great cut and they finish really well as uh uh, also, so that's what this stuff was designed to be used with these pads. And and I have used them in the past for single stages before HD Speed even came out. And, uh, and, and it was great. It actually worked really well. I just kind of went to this and never went back to this. So I'll probably go back and forth. Um, it all depends on the vehicle, the type of paint, uh, the type of defects on the paint. For softer paints, sometimes these pads will just leave marring, even using something like this. But you can still use the orange uh, pads like this one here, which I haven't cleaned yet. But these are the Lake Country orange pads. These deliver enough cut um, and they finish really well. So I'll probably be making another video on what I use for pads because uh, that's, that's kind of important as well. A lot of detailers want to know what pads are the best. So I'll make a video on that one next. And if I haven't already, then you can click up here for that video. But if you don't see it pop out, it means I didn't make it yet. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, put them down below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with others who may enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe, click that bell. That way you get notifications each time our videos drop each week and you don't miss stuff. So if you're interested in any of the products or tools that we use, any of these things here, then click up here. That goes to our dedicated page on our website where you can purchase these products easily. And don't forget about our apparel. We also sell t-shirts, hoodies, and more. And I'll have links down below where you can click right onto that online store. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great one. Oh, I guess I see you somewhere around. I guess I see you somewhere around